Bring Itzy Von back to do your bonus read. I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot for this reading. Had a little bit of a a change of change of cards this morning. Um, if you're only watching this video and you haven't watched the What's Cracking, I am just allowing the people of the local area to know that I will be now reading from a cafe at Port Kembla on Thursdays every week. Um, I've decided to do this because a lot of people ask me for face-to-face -face readings and it's often difficult to sort of have people. Um, I used to allow people to come to my home and I just feel that people might feel more comfortable if they have an environment to come to. So if you're interested now and you're living in the Port Kembla, Wollongong area, even Campbelltown, I guess, I'm going to be... I'm really excited about it, actually. So it's something that I've never done, something that I was told many years ago I would do, but it's finally come into fruition. All right. I don't know what's going on, but I can hear storms. Not real ones, although we've had real ones here. But I can hear storms. I can hear a lot of noise going on here. Maybe arguments. Some sort of energy here. Let's see where we're going with that. Six of Cups straight out of the gate. The Six of Cups is a card that talks about nostalgia. It talks about remembering. It talks about going back to the past and just remembering times perhaps when you were a child, when you were young. Um, it could be going back to anything here that perhaps made you feel happy. Um, I know sometimes in meditation it's a really good energy to go back to, to remembering some time when you were very, very content and happy with something. Um, sometimes it can talk about an energy of feeling like, like childlike, being taken back to your past, like that smell of the local lolly shop, but it can take you right back. It's that nostalgic feeling coming through. The Queen of Swords is here and I feel here there is sort of this energy. It does represent the Libra Gemini Aquarius people. Um, but for me, this is some sort of energy of making a decision about the past. It feels like you are either going back to the past over something and deciding to let it go, leave it behind. But there's some sort of decision you're making here about the past. You could be leaving someone behind. You may be choosing to cut someone out of your past. But there's something here you're making a decision about. I can feel the decision very strongly. Okay, and it's, look, three of swords. I'm feeling what's cracking energy here. Um, there is some sort of pain that was created in your past that you want to deal with. You want to let it go. You want to cut it out. You want to be able to move on with your life, but this heartache still sits with you. Now, for some of you here, and I, I probably really sort of talked about this in the what's cracking reading as well. Sometimes the Three of Swords will come up as an energy of something you've been carrying around with you for a very long time. Something from your past here that you have found really hard, like it's been really difficult for you to let go with that Queen of Swords. So sometimes it's the energy of hanging on to something that creates pain for you, but being unaware of what it was. Now I'm strongly feeling this morning that this is something to do with communication. So perhaps somebody didn't communicate something to you. Somebody could have even not told you the truth here because I feel very, very strongly that there's a sword sitting between two swords. The swords represent communication, clarity, um, and really sort of having an understanding of something. And I feel like it separated two people here because there was lack of closure, lack of something that made something final. Okay, and it's created how interesting. You're getting a definite um, energy coming through here from the What's Cracking reading, which means that there's a lot of people in the world at the moment who are going through this energy. It's quite interesting. The Eight of Swords um, is a card that talks about being stuck in your own head. And we see the woman here with the blindfold on. So she has the answers, just, just refusing to see them. She thinks she can't get out of this mess, but she could absolutely release these ties and move out. Now, the Eight of Swords, when I was in the What's Cracking reading, came up as that victim mentality. So I'm definitely going to address that again. Sometimes we can get trapped in our own thoughts and feelings because of our own experiences, our own past experiences. 
And if we are holding on to something that we learn to do in childhood and victim mentality, victim consciousness is all part of our learning. Um, but I've had people say to me that they're not in a victim mentality and everything they are doing or saying says to me that they are, but they don't recognize what that is. So we think victim mentality is when somebody is Eeyore, doom and gloom. You know, it's all bad. This is what happens to me. Every time I do this, this is what happens. I never have any luck. I'm never going. We think that is a victim mentality. But there are lots of other levels of victim mentality that become very entrenched in your energy. So, for example, you know, um, blaming other people for things that you should be taking responsibility for. Um, maybe not taking responsibility for your own emotional needs or wants. Sometimes it can be, you know, really tied to that whole idea of codependency. So the victim mentality is much deeper than people think. And I feel very strongly, sometimes it's difficult to locate. And we've had a lot of this energy coming through in the last couple of weeks of not really recognizing certain things about yourself. And this one can still pop up at any time. So the Eight of Swords says you're trapped in some sort of thinking from your past. And here we have the Nine of Wands always happens to me i can never meet the right person every time i meet someone they're like this that's a victim mentality but it could also be that you expect people to treat you that way because you have a victim mentality but something in this nine of swords is telling me that you're repeating a pattern over and over again and not releasing yourself from it the Emperor card is coming through here. So it could be that you've been dealing with people who have been very cold or controlling. It could be that you've been dealing with people who feel that they are more entitled or more... Um, so I'm trying to get the energy from this, this particular thing. I feel like this could be somebody that you've had around you for a long time. So it may not necessarily be a romantic partner. It could be somebody in your family that always takes power over you or always um, always sort of feels that they have your power okay victim mentality you are giving your power away to somebody else perhaps as a child perhaps through your life you've always thought that other people were more powerful than you you could be in a relationship where you see your partner as more powerful maybe you've got a friendship where somebody's sort of not being reasonable or fair what i want to say to you is you're giving your power away to someone you're allowing someone to dictate to you what is going on in your life this is now starting to create pain for you, but perhaps you are not realizing what you're doing here with that energy, that victim mentality energy. Let's skip one more and we have the King of Cups. Some of you may be dealing with a water sign here, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming through strongly. I feel like this person has made a decision here to come forward and apologize for something, which with the sun here says to me, it's going to lift everything up and make perhaps put you into some sort of healing where you understand what you've been doing all along. None of this is bad. None of this is horrible. I'm only here to channel awareness through. So if you don't feel it's you or it doesn't apply to you, that's all cool. You're going to take the apology. You're going to take the explanation. You're going to do it with love. You're going to do it with love because you understand what perhaps you've been doing the whole time. It's very easy for us when we are put in this position of feeling hurt and feeling pain to hold the other party responsible. If they didn't do this, then I wouldn't be feeling this. If they'd have given me closure, I would feel okay with myself. If they'd apologize for what they'd done, then I would be okay with that. Or giving your power away. But you are not just taking this cup that has some sort of apology or some sort of energy of, some sort of explanation coming through here. You are taking this cup with love because there is some understanding, some sort of healing coming through here that you are understanding. If you can't give yourself closure, then you are giving power to the other person. And think about it. So when we say, oh, we need closure. 
we don't. We don't. We just are not seeing ourselves in our own power. And you are standing in your power here. This Queen of Cups is meeting somebody eye to eye here. She's willing to accept the cup. She's willing to accept the apology. Does that mean that she will still have a friendship or a relationship or a love situation with that person? Absolutely not. But she will feel comfortable saying no more. That's it. I'm done. This is beautiful energy coming through this morning. Okay. There it is. The gift from the universe. Page of Pentacles. Four of Cups coming through. And this is your person coming in with that cup. Right, okay. Somebody is coming in with the cup that you are going to accept. Okay, so you are definitely accepting this cup here. Maybe we should do it that way. Because <laughs> you're taking it, look. I feel that you are understanding what's been going on now. This for me is a gift from the universe. It's the universe saying that this person probably has taken a little bit away. He's got a huge pentacle. Um, but he's been taking his time in coming forward here. Taking his time. I feel like this person has really understood what they've done here. There's been a great understanding and they need to put something right now. This is the universe giving this person a little bit of a shove here. They may have gone through their own tower moment in trying to understand this. But for you, it's coming through as some sort of energy of understanding and healing. Wow, look at this. Queen of Pentacles. Could be with a mother figure here, by the way. Three of Wands, so moving forward now. This has been holding you back. And we have the Four of Swords. Now, I always say it's quite interesting because I always say the Four of Swords is the Three and the Ace. So we have three swords here that created the pain. And we have the Ace of Swords here, which is the clarity. So you are going to be healing after this. You're going to be healing because something is going to awaken in you that you did not realize was within you. And it's been holding you back from having what you want. This is that Nine of Cups energy, finally getting into that energy of being able to bring in what you want here. But it's been holding you back here. But there's a lot of healing coming in through this energy. And there's the Eight of Wands again. Wow, with the th Nine of Swords. Holy dooly, and the High Priestess. Okay. Some of you are going to find that from this situation, from this explanation or this apology, there is a huge release of emotions here. And I saw that in the card that came through, that outpouring of emotion. I don't think it's towards this person, but it could be why I'm feeling thunder and lightning when I first started the reading. I feel like there's a tremendous amount of either getting upset, outpouring of emotion. I don't think you're ang so much angry or upset with this person. I think you're more realizing how this has held you back in life. You're realizing here how you could have resolved this a long time ago if you'd have only listened to your intuition. Because your intuition was trying to pull you forward here. But it seems to me that there was this energy of not fighting against it not going with the flow and she is going with the flow in this card even though she doesn't have all the information she is understanding to go with it just to go with it but you've been holding yourself back here i feel like this energy here has been holding you in place it's either been stopping you moving forward because of the past pain or it's stopping you moving forward because you are perhaps revisiting it a, a lot we have the same sort of moon in this card that we have here. So for me, this is a different, a different energy. It's an acceptance here. Whereas here, not having the information has held you back in these feelings of anxiety. Where here, not having the information, it didn't matter because you could have moved through it. 
Okay, so something from your past that you are making some sort of decision on here. Something that may have created pain for you and kept you trapped in this energy. Something that may have been repeating. I feel like whoever this person is, you've given them your power. But I feel like you're taking your power back here. I do feel that you may be dealing with someone... There's an emotional connection with this person. So if this is a friend, you have a very strong emotional connection to them. Um, I feel like it could be a family member for many of you, but for others of you, this is definitely a romantic interest or potential romantic interest. But we have here this beautiful energy of somebody making a decision here to come forward to bring happiness back to a situation again. And remember, if you don't want to accept it, that's entirely up to you. But I feel like this is here to teach you a lesson. It's not about the apology. It's not about the explanation. It's here to teach you how not to hang on to things or punish yourself with things. It's really beautiful, beautiful reading. I just want to pull an... Oh, look, there we go. I'm not pulling any more. That, that just sums it up for me. That is just so beautiful. The truth will set you free. All right, let's pull an oracle card. Hey, well, interesting because I'm not going to read. I'm going to talk about professional in assistance first, but I'm going to read you the other card because I feel like it's really important. Sometimes when we're in situations where we feel, you know, we, we're going through something that we cannot quite put our finger on or we need to talk to someone about it, we need to unload our troubles and worries. And I always feel when this card comes out, it's something to do with perhaps a counsellor. For some of you, this could be legal advice that you're seeking or have sought in the past if you've got this sort of situation. But I feel like here, for some of you, you may be dealing with this on another level. Professional assistance for me can mean counsellor, it can mean a teacher that you might go to, it could be somebody that you go to for advice, it could be just to talk and unload. But somebody here looks like they've been seeking out more formal support here. So I'm going to read the Ascended Masters here because I feel like here this is coming in as... Something that's being guided very, very strongly from above. So this just confirms the way I feel about it. Sorry, it's take me a little while to find this one, but I'll get there. <laughs> hey, there it is. All right. And it was seven, I think. Okay. The spirit world is filled with dynamic entities who long to assist you in all areas of your life. Some of these are the ascended masters, those who've lived on the earth plane before and now work from the energetic realm. This card is telling you to look at your life and open up to the master that most resonates with the solution you're seeking at this time. In the upright position, this card is bringing you the presence of the high masters of enlightenment, including Jesus, Buddha and other, others of profound spiritual influence in the world. Jesus, represented by the dove, comes with unlimited healing power. No matter what your religious persuasion may be, he can bring you miraculous assistance with physical, mental or emotional healing. As the master of love, he can open your heart to experiencing the unconditional love you deserve to have for yourself and he can bring a more loving attitude to your life and your world as well as great compassion to and for the people around you. There are several historical figures called the Buddha, including Gautama and Shakyamuni. Shakyamuni. Shake Shake your money. Mm. Represented here by the lotus, which is beauty growing out of the mud. The Buddha brings you greater consciousness and enlightenment. Look to him for assistance in meditation and spiritual understanding and for achieving inner peace in difficult times. He is also the master of detachment. So if you're dealing with addiction or obsession of any kind, even obsession or desperation concerning your goals, his would be the guidance you seek. These are two of the ascended masters this card brings, open to all who can bring you the spiritual wisdom that could change your life. 
So if you need help with healing, don't forget to call on your ascended masters, angels, however you see your spiritual realm. But make sure you call on otherworldly support or help. But if you can't do that, then maybe seek out a counsellor or somebody who can help you work through the emotions. I'll leave you with that.